which of the following is characteristic radiological sign of intrauterine fetal death there are four options given uh, first one is spalding sign so spalding sign is a irregular overlapping of the cranial bones on one another is due to the liquefaction of the brain matter and softening of the ligamentous structure and this is usually appears seven days after the death uh, next option given is the Moses sign which is also known as a Bancroft sign and this sign is seen in the deep vein thrombosis of lower leg uh, next option is Dickwell vein sign there is a pain and swelling near the base of the thumb in this sign and next one is a Chovastic sign uh, which is a twitching of facial muscles in response to tapping over the area of facial nerve now we can differentiate all the sign so the correct answer will be the spalding sign next is the placenta secrete all the hormones except placenta produces variety of hormones of which protein and steroid hormones are significantly important you can see in the chart because there are many more hormones and proteins steroids which are significantly produces during the pregnancy out of the four options placenta secretes hcg estrogen and human placental lactogen answer will be prolactin next which of the following statement is false regarding krukenberg tumors the first we know uh, we will know what is krukenberg tumor so they are secondary ovarian carcinoma Primary sites are stomach, large bowel, and breast. Malignant cells from the stomach which is the superior gastric group of the lymphatic glands which also receive the lymphatics of the ovaries. Tumor is always bilateral with smooth surface and maintaining the shape of ovary. There is no infiltration through capsule. And histologically signet ring appearance of the cell are the characteristic of the Krukenberg tumor. Now we will see the option, which one is the false one. So first option given is that they are primary ovarian carcinoma that always secondary metastasis to the gastrointestinal organ. This is the false statement regarding Kuchenberg tumors because this is not the primary ovarian carcinoma. This is the secondary ovarian carcinoma. Next option, they are almost invariable bilateral two statement. There is no infiltration through the capsule, true statement and they are freely movable in the pelvis. This is also true statement. So which one of the following type of chronic disease are considered by Hanneman as the most deplorable and most incurable? There will be artificial chronic disease and this is given in the aphorism 74 that artificial chronic disease produced artificially in allopathic treatment by the prolonged use of heroic medicines in large doses next in remedy reaction where the aggravation is quick short and strong with rapid improvement of patient the inference is all except the quick short and strong aggravation it with rapid improvement of patient is given in third observation of Kent's 12 observation. There are no structural changes, disease is of superficial nature and disease has not severely affected vital organs. And this type of aggravation is most desired and is also termed as homeopathic aggravation. So what is the exception? Exception is the fourth option. Changes are comparable to change in deeper organs.